Pemba is a two big island combined. The first one is Unguja, second is Pemba. That's so called South Zipa. So the general population of the people 1.3 million is in both islands. So Zamziba is Arabic name. It means Zanjiba. Just the land black people. So Zanzibar first is colonized by the Persia from Iran around 11 up to 14th century. While around 14th century to 17th century, Zanzibar was colonized by the Portuguese. I hope you remember famous explorers like the Vasco da Gama. Once at the expedition for India, around 1498. So, around 18th century, Zanzibar was colonized by the Sultan of Oman. So, during that time, the first Sultan of Oman we call Said. Perfect. Said. So, Said, Said, who the Sultan in Zanzibar, around 1804 up to 56. He was shipped his capital <laughs> from Zanzibar around 1840. So, during that time, Zanzibar was a capital. So, around 1890, Zanzibar was under British protectorate because Sultan of the Fia, I was a German in Tanganyika, so current in Tanzania. But remember that before coming to Tanzania, we called Tanganyika. So, Tanganyika was under German colony. That's why the Sultan here, he called the British to make argument, special for protectorate. So, around 10th of December, 1963, the British provide independence to last Sultan. So during that time, the last Sultan was Said Jamshid. So Jamshid was the Sultan in Zanzibar around 1963 up to 64. Once around 1964, we have the refugee here. That's why Jamshid exiled in Zanzibar and he go there UK. Okay, you say Jamshid? Jamshid. Jamshid? Yeah. What is that? Jamshid? Uh, Jamshid just is a king. Okay, okay. Sultan of Oman. Sultan of Oman. Yeah, the last one. Last so, one. Yeah, so remember, around Sultan time, Zanzibar was colonized by the 12th Sultan in different times. The first one we call Said Said. So, Said Said was the Sultan in Zanzibar around 1804 up to 56. Second one we call Said Majid. So Said Majid was the Sultan in Zanzibar around 1856 up to 70. And the third one we call Said Baraj. So Said Baraj was the Sultan in Zanzibar around 1870 up to 88. And the last one, 12th one, we call Said Jamshid. So Jamshid was the Sultan in Zanzibar around 1863 up to 1864. Once around 1964, we have the refugee here. That's why Jamshid exiled in Zanzibar. And he got there in the UK. So the same year, around 1964, was the union between Zanzibar and the Tanganyika. That's why we formed Tanzania. So Ta means Tanganyika, Sa, Zanzibar, Nia means together. So in short, Zanzibar is a partner in part of Tanzania. That's why we have a Zanzibar president, even the union president, for Tanzania president. But the powerful. So, in short, Tanzania included Zanzibar. So, our mother tongue just is Swahili. Most of Tanzania people just speak Swahili. So, Swahili, they come from different words. And they borrow different words from different languages, like Arabic. Portuguese. I hope you know. Language, how many languages? Uh, bilingual. Two languages. Arabic and Portuguese. Ah, well, the, uh, not about not about general speaking Zanzibar. Just uh, the people of Zanzibar they speak Swahili. Swahili is our mother tongue. But how you can see the people they speak different language like uh, Arabic. English, maybe Spain, German, special for communication. We'll send us out to launch you off to Mars. Uh, was there slave trading going on in this on this island at, a, at one point in time in history by the Arabs? Uh, so remember, the founder of Zanzibar's level said first the Portuguese. First Portuguese, the Portuguese, yeah, Portuguese, and especially beginning of 15th century. 
but later on, once about around 18th century, slave trade of flourish once are becoming the Arabs. Yeah. Because during that time, even the Arabs, they need the slaves. Okay. Can somebody tell me how a few minority white folks colonize the whole world? Very uh, nice people. Weaponry, weaponry, and germs. Weaponry, germs, and disease. Germs, 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 germs. Yeah, that's right. I, I love Black you, man. Food. There you go, family. <laughs> <laughs> so that's yeah. why tomorrow we have a stop down tour. That's why we focus in detail about slavery trade. <laughs> okay, that's why we cannot talk the history about the Zanzibar, we have to focus on the slave trade. Okay. Because during the time in East Africa, Zanzibar was the main destination for the slave. We can't hear say. I'm sorry, what did you just say from the last part? Sorry? Can you repeat that? Uh, so remember, we cannot invite about the slave trade information. That's why tomorrow we will just start on tour. Okay. That's why in those on tour, we focus about the slave trade because we cannot talk about the history without concern or touch about the slave trade. That's why during the time, Zanzibar was main destination for the slave in East Africa. Hey, this is a busy little place. <laughs> It's amazing you see this and then you drive further north you see paradise. On, on Zanzibar? Same island. That's, that's why you have to go north to really enjoy yeah. paradise because there's too much city city stuff yeah. down on the, the yeah. Yeah. Yeah.